Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own Raspberry Pi web browser using Python, PyGDK, and WebKit. So let's begin by opening up a terminal and installing the needed package. We'll type sudo apt-get install python dash webkit. This will install the GTK and WebKit Python bindings. In my Raspberry Pi, it has already been installed. So we can now open up Python in interactive mode and start playing. First, we import the GTK Python bindings with import GDK. To create a window, we instantiate a GTK window object. To see our window, we just type window.show and we have a GTK window. To label our window hello world, we'll do window dot set title hello world and our title shows up we can also add a button to our window to do that we instantiate a GDK button object and label it go We'll add it to our window. To show our button, we simply type go.show. And we have a button. We can connect our button to a function. So first, let's define one. Let's call it go click. This function receives a button object and simply prints a greeting. To connect our button to our function, we just type go.connect and then the signal name click and our function name go click. This will return an integer identifier. In my Raspberry Pi, it's 18L, but it can be different on your computer. Now let's try our button. If, if we click on our button, it will output the greeting hello. We can also disconnect our function from our button. To do that, we just type go dot disconnect and we pass the integer identifier. And now our button's disconnected. We can also remove our button from our window on the fly, but it still exists in the memory, so we can still add it back on later. To do that, we just type window dot remove go, and it removes our button. To add more widgets to our window, we need to create an invisible container. Let's use the GTK H box. Next, let's create a text box widget with GTK entry.
we then put it inside our h box with h box dot pack start and then we give it our text box widget we also do that with our go button hbox dot pack start and then go then we add our hbox to our window To see all the widgets, we do window dot show all. Now, let's change our function to show the contents of our text box. then connect it again with the signal name click and our function name go click let's test it and disconnect it again let's just temporarily remove our H box from our window Now, let's import WebKit. To create a browser, we instantiate a WebKit web view. Add it to our window. type browser dot show to make it visible to open a page we do browser dot open http colon slash slash www.example.com and it worked we have a simple web browser let's remove our browser first and resize our window to 200 by 200 pixels
Now, let's create a scroller widget. Add in our browser. and then add it to our window. To see our scroller, we do scroller dot show. Now, this is much better as we can scroll down to see the rest of the page. Now, let's just remove the scroller from our window. and create another invisible container. Let's create a V-Box this time. And add it to our window. Now, let's use pack start again to put our H box inside our V box. And to type vbox.show to see it. Also, we use pack start to add our scroller. Our browser is starting to take form. We know we can get the contents of our text box with get text. So we update our function to make our browser open the web page address that we type in our text box. Again, we connect it to our button. And then we test it.
the problem here is that our go button is taking up extra space to fix that we just remove our widgets the scroller and the H box from our V box then we just give false as the second argument to pack start and it looks much better we also want our browser to update the window title to the visited web pages title to do that we define another function let's call it title changed this function receives a web view and frame object and a text stream that contains the title. It simply changes the window's title. Next, we connect it with our browser with browser.connect and then the signal name title changed and then the name of our function title changed now our web browser updates to the title of the website now Depending on our internet connection, our web page might be loading up a little slow. So we want an indicator to show our progress. To create a progress bar, we instantiate a GTK progress bar object. and add it to our VBOX. To see it, we do progress.show. And there's our progress bar. Next, we want to see the progress change as we're loading the page. To do that, we define a function that does just that. Let's call it load progress change. This function receives a web view object and the amount change. We use the set fraction method to reflect change and give it the amount parameter divided by 100.0 to make it a fraction. We 
then connect it to our browser by typing browser dot connect then the signal name load progress change and our function name load progress change we also want our progress bar to be only visible when loading a page and to hide it when it's done to do that we define two more functions load started and load finished Both of these functions receives a web view and frame object. They also set the visibility of the progress bar to true or false. We connect both of these functions to our browser. Browser.connect, then the signal name load started, and our function name load started. Browser.connect, our signal name load finished. and our function name load finish now let's try it if it works it works now we have a progress bar that hides and unhides itself when loading a page we also want our progress bar to be only visible when loading a page and to hide it when it's done. To do that, we define two more functions, load started and load finished. Both of these functions receives a web view and frame object. They also set the visibility of the progress bar to true or false. We connect both of these functions to our browser. Browser.connect, then the signal name load started, and our function name load started. Browser.connect, our signal name load finished. and our function name load finish now let's try it if it works it works now we have a progress bar that hides and unhides itself when loading a page let's add one final touch to our Raspberry Pi web browser, we're going to add a refresh button.
The PyGTK library has a built-in stock of images that we can use. For our refresh button, we'll use the GTK stock refresh. Then, we add it to our HBox. With HBox Hack Start Refresh. And we show it with refresh.show. Lastly, we define a refresh click function. and connect it to our refresh button. If we click on a refresh button, it reloads the page. Now let's go to the Raspberry Pi homepage. And it loads the page. So, there we are. A Python plus PyGTK plus WebKit web browser on the Raspberry Pi. That is all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.